Joining me now is Carol Roth, business strategist and New York Times best-selling author of The Entrepreneur Equation. Carol Roth, let me bring you in here. I mean, you're a, a pro-Romney business strategist. We established that last time we spoke. And from a business point of view, he's getting more and more ruthless, isn't he? He's spending more and more money, getting nastier and nastier. He wants to not just beat Newt Gingrich, he wants to destroy the guy. Well, we talked about this last time, Pierce. He needed to bring it, and he absolutely did. He brought it in the debate. He brought it in terms of the dollar spent and the type of adverts that he did. But I think that it's time that he needs to evolve because I, I think people were waiting for him to bring it, but now they need to build a connection with him. He's sort of an outsider. He's this privileged, you know, Wall Street kind of guy, and I don't think they feel connected to him. So before he needed to have a debate coach, now I think he needs to have a storytelling coach and connect emotionally with the audience. Two members of these radical anarchist and socialist groups uh, were arrested for planning to use Molotov cocktails think, against the police. Andrew, I think we're getting uh, slightly tangential here. These people here. are all tied to a bar. <laughs> they, you, they're, Only they're you could have brought they're, Molotov they're cocktails into this. Let me let me let me bring in let me bring in Carol Roth. Let's 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 right. cut to let's cut to what my gut sense at the moment is, which is actually most Republicans, even if they're conservatives, don't really warm to Mitt Romney. Are probably looking at the whole race now and thinking a Romney Chris Christie ticket might be the best way to beat Barack Obama. Has Mitt Romney done enough? It's interesting to me that in Florida, with all the problems they've got there, the worst housing crisis in the whole of America, they decided that of Gingrich and of Romney, they preferred Romney's view of the economy and how to re uh, revive it than Newt Gingrich's. So that's an encouraging sign. It said to me that they don't look upon Romney as this very, very super rich, out of touch guy anymore. Would you, would you agree with that? I, I think it all boils down to electability, peers, and, and I relate everything back to high school in America. And you have to remember that when it comes down to it, people want to elect somebody who's cool, not necessarily the smartest kid. So you've got Barack Obama, who's basically the prom king. You've got Newt Gingrich, who's head of the debate club. So at least Romney is going to the prom. And so, you know, he has a chance against the prom king. I think everybody realizes that if you put Newt Newt Gingrich against Barack, Barack Obama, even if your head says this makes sense, your gut is going to go, yeah, you know what, I just can't do this.